take everything out of your hands, put all your devices on mute, don't get any alerts, because this could be the most important part of your day. So when you're ready, I'd like you to sit back and relax. I'd like you to go ahead now and sit back and relax. And I'd like you to take a big deep breath through the nose and letting it out through the mouth. Relax. Breathing in through the nose and letting it out through the mouth. Relax. Breathing in through the nose and letting it out through the mouth. Relax. Now I'd like to ask the part of you that is responsible for being a leader, if it's willing to communicate with me now with a visible nod of your head. Excellent. Excellent. And I'd like to refer to you as the leader. And I'd like to thank you for communicating with me now. Now, speaking to you as the leader, I'd like to acknowledge you for always having acted in your best interest. And for always having provided leadership in the past. And I am here today to assist you in creating additional resources to accelerate your impact as a leader. And I'd like to ask you if you can take the leadership part of you to that creative, to that clever, and to that colourful part of you now. And have the leader and the creative, the clever, and the colourful part of you come up with at least three additional choices of behaviours that will provide you with the ability to catapult your influence, to accelerate your impact, and for you to be able to unleash new income levels. And when you have those three additional choices, I'd like you to go ahead and signal me with a visible nod of your head. Excellent. Thank you. And now, I'd like you to go inside and check for any other parts that may fear, that may doubt, or that may second guess your leadership abilities. And I'd like to have those now, along with the leader and the creative, the clever and the colourful part, come up with at least three additional choices of behaviour that will enable you to live life on your terms, to lead your people to a victory, and for you to be able to leave a legacy for generations to come. And when you have those three additional choices, I'd like you to signal me now with a visible nod of your head. Excellent. Thank you. 
And now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to step out into your future and put yourself in a situation where you are called upon to be a leader and will need these additional resources. Experiencing this fully And just holding on to all of those learnings. Knowing that leaders guide performance and hold others accountable. Knowing that leaders step forward to lead as needed, regardless of their position. Remembering that leading is leading by example. And to be able to demonstrate what you expect. Remember that leadership is about articulating and arousing enthusiasm for a shared mission and vision. And holding on to those learnings about the democratic style. The leader who values the input of others and gains commitment through participation. Holding on to those learnings of the affiliative style leader who creates harmony by connecting people to each other. Excellent. Holding on to the learnings of the commanding style leader. The leader who soothes the fears by giving clear direction in an emergency. And holding on to all of those learnings of the coaching style that understands and connects what a person wants within the organization's goals. And on account of three, I'd like you to go ahead and open your eyes knowing you have fully integrated all of these leadership resources today. One, two, three. And when you're ready, come back to now. Welcome back. <laughs>